The bell curve, also referred to as normal distribution, is called that way because this is how data tends to be distributed quote unquote normally. And the graph used to display this distribution looks like a bell. We come across this a lot. For example, if you take the IQ scores of everyone in the US, most people will be average IQ, meaning in graphical representation, most values will be in the middle. Then at the extremes, you will have people who are very smart and very dumb. The same tends to happen when we measure anything from shoe size to height. The IQ bell curve in particular is a great way to point out an odd phenomenon, which is how both high IQ and low IQ individuals think alike, whereas the middle or midwits are the outliers. For those of you who don't know, a midwit is someone who is around average intelligence, but is so opinionated and full of themselves that they think that they're some kind of genius. Midwits have a shallow understanding of things, and at first they can seem a bit smart until you dig deeper and realize they're just posers. They overlap with pseudo-intellectuals. In this example, the low and the high IQs both do whatever they feel like. Where the midwits doom themselves to a life of inaction because they stress themselves out with things like visualizing the future and setting goals. An interesting thing happens when the graph's y-axis is changed from percent of people to enjoyment. Then the bell curve becomes a helpful way to identify things that are enjoyed by midwits but hated by both low IQs and high IQs. A great example of something that fits this graph is the film Inception. <laughs> Low IQs don't like it because they don't get it. Midwits like it because it's a complicated movie about dreams within dreams that make you question everything you see. And high IQs don't like it because they don't get it. Now something even more fascinating happens when the bell curve is reversed. Now it is describing something that low IQs and high IQs love, whereas the midwits can't stand. For instance, this now reverse bell curve perfectly describes Family Guy. Low IQs love it because haha baby talks. And cry. Midwits hate it because why is this baby talking? It's so stupid. Let's watch a real show like Rick and Morty. High IQs love it because haha baby talk. Distinguishing if something could be better described using a standard or reverse bell curve is crucial to making good decisions on what we consume on a daily basis. Please share something that would be described using either of these two graphs in the comments below to raise awareness.